Welcome back to my channel where creativity has no limits. I am Anil Ferrao aka Mr. Ferrao and you are watching Artisty City. So welcome to part 3 to animate the Pokeball. If you have not seen part 1 and part 2 on how to create a Pokeball then I highly recommend you do that first. You can click on the video card above. And a big shout out to MCLX and Sturdy.A for subscribing to my channel. You guys are awesome. Subscribe to my channel to win a lucky random shout out and also for more amazing creative videos and tutorials. If you guys want to download the 3D blend file of this project, then you can download it from my Patreon. Link to my Patreon is in the description. So let's animate the Pokeball. So we need to animate the Pokeball, therefore click on the Pokeball and let's turn on the material preview mode so that we can preview the animation faster. And if you rotate the Pokeball by pressing R on the keyboard, it rotates fully as if it is on water. We don't want that. We want the Pokeball to rotate side to side touching the ground. So for that, let's go to the front of the graphic view and uh, click the middle mouse and drag this to the left and where you can see where is written options. Click on the options and transform, click origins. And what this will do is, this will only affect the origin of the object. And now we can place the origin wherever we want. So we will place the origin right at the bottom of the Pokeball. Go to options and uncheck origins. And now we have the origin of the Pokeball right at the bottom. And now if we rotate this, it will rotate as if it is on the ground. Voila. And now we can animate this easily. There are many ways. We can drag the timeline so we can view this properly. If we go to object properties and under rotation, if you rotate this, Pokeball can be rotated in the Y axis and also in the X axis. If the rotation does not happen as per the axis, just press Ctrl A and apply rotation and that will fix everything. So now go to the view and click on show seconds and this will show you the exact seconds. Go to the output properties, change the frame rate to 30 and the end frame to 300 so that is exact 10 seconds. Next in the object properties, right click on the Y rotation and insert single keyframe and a single keyframe will be inserted. Then you can go forward, drag this to the right, right click, insert keyframe, go forward, drag the rotation to the left, right click, insert keyframe, go forward, drag it again insert keyframe so this is animating manually so when you play this the f the pokeball will animate so this is a very tedious process so what we will do is we will put only one single keyframe and we will change the editor type to graph editor we get this little up so as you can see in the sphere this is the Y rotation if we press N this will get a menu click on the keyframe and in the modifiers add modifier add noise and when you play this this adds noise to the animation and we need to play with the scale strength offset face and depth for the front and back motion i want it very 
subtle movement like so I will decrease the scale maybe change the offset change the face and I will insert a keyframe to the X rotation insert single keyframe and for the X rotation I will give the same modifier which is the noise modifier and for this I'm gonna keep it more frequent like I'm gonna keep the movement of the x-axis more vigorously unlike the y-axis rotation so I'm gonna increase the strength and the scale decrease the scale you can play with these settings as per your preferences currently I like this animation of the movement control s to save so as you can see the end and the starting point looks very glitchy so we can fix that by restricting the frame range so we need to click on the restrict frame range and get this down and start from 7.7 .7 and end at right over there and also bend in to get a smooth transition and bend out to get a smooth transition out we will do the same to the y axis as well restrict frame range starting from 11 and then ending it right there and blending in and blending out and then play this this will be in a perfect loop Control s to save now the movement animation is done the only animation left is the light flickering of the front button so for that we need to go to the 3d viewport press tab to go into the edit mode click on the front face and then increase the selection and now we need to give it a new material by clicking on the plus sign new give it the name as light and assign and when you go into the shader editor if you give it emission and red emission and the base color to somewhat red so that will change into a red emission material go to the render preview just to check out the overall look so that is how it looks currently i will increase the emission strength so that is good control s to save but we need the light to blink or flicker how do we do that so one technique is click on the white material copy the white material click on the light and paste the white material now this turns everything same but we can duplicate the principal bsdf by pressing shift d and duplicating and if we connect this to the surface and change the base color to red and the emission to red as well increase the emission strength and voila you get red light and you have also the white material and what we have to do is 
we only need to mix the shaders so for that we need to add a node that is shift a by x mix shader click and add the shader to the shade over here and currently the shaders are mixed if i drag the factor to the left so it is totally the white material now and if i drag the factor to the right it is totally the light material now so we need to keyframe this value to play with the light so increase the timeline we'll just go to the material preview mode change the editor type to dope sheet get this in and you will see a summary drag this down object transforms all the keyframes are visible in the dope sheet so now what we'll do is we'll go to the first frame we'll turn the factor right to the left which has no light right click and insert keyframe and as you can see here automatically there is a keyframe for light and if you click this down there is your keyframe for the white material and what we'll do is we will keep one second as white and the other second as light so one second is white so click on click on this keyframe Control c to copy and Control v to paste now click on the right arrow to go one frame forward drag the factor to the right and this will get the light right click and insert keyframe go to two seconds click on click on the light keyframe Control c to copy and Control v to paste and for one second we will have the light and other second the white material and what we can do here is we can copy this and paste it we can go four seconds 4.1 second paste it again six seconds paste it again and eight second paste it again and this will create a perfect loop and there you go that is how we make the pokeball animation and now to render the animation this is how it will look when rendered in the output properties in the output click on desktop and type in pokeball accept change this to ffmpeg video and then coding change meta roscar to mpeg4 keep it as it is medium quality to lossless or perceptual lossless i will keep it lossless you can keep the encoding speed to good or real time for fast rendering and for the output and for the render samples keep it as 100 click on adaptive sampling and in denoising click on render and optics if you have a gpu and now go to the render tab and render as animation and wait for few hours until your video is rendered So I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you did, then do like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates from RHT City. Stay tuned for part 4 where you guys will learn how to create the sound effects for the Pokeball. Also check out the description area for any interesting links. You guys can support my channel by supporting me on Patreon. In return, you will get cool digital prints and my personal 3D projects. Link to my Patreon is in the description. This is all for today. See you guys in part 4. Until then, 
स्टे ग्रेडेड